This morning, an update on the search for a new university president. Also, Governor Henry McMaster's passionate take on Biden's vaccine policy. And South Carolina's abortion ban has caused a stampede of thoughts from attorney generals. Stay tuned to find out why. I'm Rachel Manning, and this is News Wrap. Last night, the university gave us all an update on the search for a new president for the University of South Carolina. The Presidential Candidate Search Committee conducted two rounds of interviews to narrow down the applicants. The committee has created a leadership profile to attract better candidates, which includes seven crucial qualities the president must possess. Students are also able to give feedback on the candidates at the virtual town hall on Thursday, September 16th at 6 p.m. Hold your belts, South Carolinians, because the Gamecock president is in sight. South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster has been very passionate about his stance on Biden's proposed mandated vaccine policy. On Thursday, after Biden discussed mandating vaccines for over 100 million Americans, McMaster tweeted, quote, we will fight them to the gates of hell. While McMaster is known to encourage getting the vaccine, he is strongly for individuals making their own decisions. South Carolina Attorney General Alan Wilson said he and his team will review the law to ensure it doesn't violate personal freedoms. The law would mandate all employers with over 100 workers to have the vaccine or be tested for the virus weekly, as well as all employees of the executive branch and those who do business with the federal government. Whether the law is passed or not, stay safe and mask up, Carolina. South Carolina abortion ban has been challenged by 20 Democratic attorney generals. The abortion ban, which was signed earlier this year, states that if a heartbeat can be detected, an abortion could not be performed. Democratic attorney generals argue that the ban would harm their states by taxing resources if women cross borders to seek medical care. Virginia Attorney General Mark Herring said the effects of law are not confined to limits on particular procedures in a single state. History shows that people will cross state lines to receive proper care. Planned Parenthood attorneys sued after Governor Henry McMaster signed the bill. The entire law has been blocked from going into effect, pending the outcome of a challenge to the Mississippi new abortion law before the U.S. Supreme Court. 42nd Street, the tap dancing musical, opens today at Town Theatre on Sumter Street. Actors hailing from Broadway's Lion King, Willy Wonka, Mamma Mia, West Side Story, and Mary Poppins will be taking stage. 42nd Street follows the story of a young girl landing her big break on Broadway in the 30s. Don't fret if you cannot make today's 7.30 show. The production will be having shows on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 7.30 p.m. and on Sundays at 6 p.m. That's all we have for you this week. Gamecocks, be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook at SGTV at USC to keep up with all things USC. For SGTV News 4, I'm Rachel Manning.